The aquaponic system has now been up and running for 60 days and there's been no issues since it was set up. The only issue was that the Swiss chard actually died. But this is probably due to the roots not being long enough when transplanting from the growing tray. If you haven't seen the first video yet, I shall put a link at the end of this video. For the lazy gardener who wants to rest on his deck chair, mini aquaponics may be for you. With little maintenance, which I'll cover later, no watering, no weeding, no worries about frost, just occasional changing of the water, and of course feeding the fish. So we've got Arctic like butterhead lettuce, spinach, palmoral iceberg, island cost romaine, majeure loose leaf lettuce, rocket, thimble cost romaine, and of course the chard, chard that has died. I've also checked the pH level of the water. The system can be used by resting inside the tank or it rest quite snugly on top of the tank as you can see. So my aquaponic system has been up and running for five weeks. So I thought it's about time to clean out my growing tray and inspect the roots and just generally give it a good old clean. Although it does look quite dirty, it's mainly dust particles from the clay pebbles, which luckily the filter has stopped them going into the fish tank. In the DIY method, the growing tray is resting on bog wood and using the lid of the tank to stop excess algae growth from sunlight. Whichever way you choose, and if you own a fish tank, you will quickly discover how much sense this makes for you and the benefits of growing your own leafy greens all year round. <laughs> 